ExxonMobil has announced its fifth discovery for this year offshore Guyana. The discovery of the Hammerhead 1 well is its ninth discovery since the start of exploration on the Starbrook block. ExxonMobil, in a statement on Thursday, said the well, which it began drilling on July 27, 2018, to a depth of 13,862 feet in 3,373 feet of water, encountered approximately 197 feet of high-quality oil-bearing sandstone reservoir. President of the exploration company Steve Greenlee was quoted as saying, the Hammerhead 1 discovery reinforces the potential of the Guyana Basin, where ExxonMobil is already maximizing value for all stakeholders through rapid phase developments and accelerated exploration plans. He added that development options for Hammerhead will take into account ongoing evaluation of reservoir data, including a well test. Hammerhead 1 is located approximately 13 miles southwest of the Lisa 1 and follows previous discoveries on the Starbrook block at Liza, Lisa Deep, Payara, Snook, Turbot, Ranger, Pakora, and Longtail. Announcing its last discovery in June of this year, Exxon disclosed that there was an estimated recoverable resource of more than 4 billion oil equivalent barrels up to that time. This gives the potential for up to five floating production storage and offloading vessels, producing more than 750,000 barrels of oil per day. ExxonMobil said there is potential for additional production from significant undrilled targets and plans for rapid exploration and appraisal drilling. A second exploration vessel, the Noble Tom Madden, is due to arrive in Ghana in October to accelerate exploration of high potential opportunities and will commence drilling at the Puma Prospect approximately 17 miles from Torbot, the company said. Lisa Phase 1, which is expected to begin producing oil in early 2020, will use Lisa Destiny FPSO vessel to produce up to 120,000 barrels of oil per day. Pending government and regulatory approvals, Phase 2 is targeted for sanctioning by the end of this year, the company said. Bibi Katoon, Newsroom.